Hey guys, how are you today? I am back with a brand new video. I am very excited to do this video. I just want to talk a little bit about some up and coming projects that I'm going to do on my channel and also go over a small art supply haul. I have some things that I got at the art store that I'm very excited to show you guys that are going to be featured in some new videos. So first, I'd like to talk a little bit about things that are going to be up and coming on my channel. If you haven't seen it yet, um, we did the first couple of pages in this book, Once Upon a Page. This is an art prompt book. All the books I'm gonna show you are our art prompt books meaning that each book, each page has a different prompt on it for you to complete. So this is one that I've started on my channel. Um, if you want to look for the video, the first video, the playlist, please click the link above. Um, and this is one that we're going to be completing here on the channel. Uh, the next art prompt book we're going to be starting is this one. It's called Create and Destroy. Um, it's another art prompt book similar to the last one or wreck it wreck this journal um and i'm very excited to get this one started this one is very destructive so i'm really excited about that so the next art prompt book series i'm going to be doing is of course create this book by mariah elizabeth um, i'm very excited to get started on this one this one's more about creating less about destroying and I'm very excited to get started. I've seen some really great things from this book. So the last art prompt book we're going to do on the channel is called Creativity in Progress. I have several more I'm not going to show you today that I want to get started on. These are just the first four we're going to do. Get started. They're going to be series. Each video will have a couple. Um, me doing a couple of different pages. So this one's another art prompt book. Um, this is a fairly new one. I'm really excited to do this one as well. So, without further ado, let's get on to the art haul. I know that's why you're all here. This is always my favorite part. So the first thing I have to show you guys is not really a new art supply. This is just something I love using, so I thought I'd show you. These are Canson Mixed Media Pads. So, the thing about mixed media, when I say mixed media, it's like means different materials can be used on this. And if you look at the cover, you'll see here it says acrylic watercolor pen and pencil. I've also used things like ink glue uh, paint on these. They have a different tooth and drawing paper, meaning the surface of the paper is different. Um, I really like how this looks. It may not be the best for pencil, but I just like to use it because it's good for a lot of different media. And if you pick up any of these pads, the Canson series will show you what they're good for in the front cover. So that's these. Um, I love using these. So it's not really something I'm excited <laughs> that's going to be on my channel. It's just something I use all the time. I don't usually use these as sketchbooks. I usually rip the pages out and use them in other places. That's the first thing. Next thing I'd like to show you guys is another Canson product. This is Canson Black Drawing Paper. And I am very excited about this. Um, I've never had a black paper sketchbook of any kind. It's black paper is really fun to draw on because the lights and shadows work differently. Since the paper is black, you can't really add like a black shadow to it. So the highlights really stand out and it's really fun to try to get those lights and shadows on this paper. I have used black paper before. I've just never had a drawing pad of it. So I am very excited to use this. I'm very excited to try it out. It's definitely gonna be a challenge and I hope to feature that in an upcoming video. The next thing actually pairs really well with the black drawing paper. It's these Prismacolor Premier New Pastels. So I've used new pastels before. I just, it's been a while um, from, my, from what I remember, they're just like any other pastel like a um, pa chalk pastel that's out there. I think these are more on the firm side. I am excited to give these a try again. I think they're gonna look great on that black paper. These are some of the featured colors. Um, and like I said, I am very excited to try these out again because it's been a while. So I'll probably feature that with the black paper. 
The next thing I want to show you guys is this um, craft cord. I got this because it was on, Michael's had like a rainbow display and it was some clearance stuff. So I've been trying to branch out and do more mixed media. And when I say mixed media, I'm talking about different techniques, different materials on one drawing or one artwork. So I saw this craft cord and I thought this would be a perfect place to start. And it comes in a variety of colors. So I'm really excited about this, really excited to try it in some new projects. The next thing's an old favorite. It's called Shrinky Dink. If you're unfamiliar with Shrinky Dink, it's just shrink plastic, meaning you make a design on it, you draw, you paint, something like that, and you would cut your design out and you put it in the oven or the toaster oven and it shrinks down to a fraction of its size. So I've used this before. I've made charms to go on like a bracelet. You can punch a little hole in it and the hole will shrink down and then you could string a string through it or some metal like some wire um some things i'd like to try i definitely want to try making some pens with this maybe do some more charms i think that would be fun but i'm really excited to try out some different methods and materials on this to see what works best the very last thing i got i'm most excited for and that is these windsor and newton studio collection colored pencils I'm going to be honest, I was looking at the fine art section and I saw these pencils. I was drawn to them by their color and then I realized they were on clearance. That's the whole reason I bought them. So Windsor and Newton, I didn't realize, made pencils. I knew they made paint. They make some good paints. So I'm very excited to give these pencils a try. I'm going to do a, their own video. We're going to do some swatching and we're going to try them out. And I'm so, so, so excited to try these. I was so thrilled when I got them. And that's pretty much it. Comment down below on something you'd like to see featured or what you're most excited for. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And thank you so much. Bye.